Paratus, the company that is changing the game in delivering quality and unlimited networks to businesses in Namibia, is now powering our Game Changers series. And we're talking to some of the people at Paratus who think big and are helping to take Paratus to the next game-changing level. Rolf Mendelssohn is not only the chief technical officer of the Paratus Group, he also doubles as CEO of Paratus in Angola. Rolf's boundless energy, elephantine memory, and resolute determination all combine to make him an adventurous African game changer of note. Rolf, welcome to Game Changes. Thank you very much, uh, Script. It's a pleasure to be here today. So, who is Rolf Mendelssohn, and what makes you the person that you are today? Well, um, I grew up in Namibia, and then I finished my uh, school uh, schooling at Pretoria Boys High, and um, then I worked here for a couple of years and went to Angola. At the age of 20, uh, we went to Luanda on the 23rd of February 2003. And uh, a couple of myself and a couple of our colleagues, uh, Barney Adamsa, Miles October, we started the business. And uh, Miles was walking, um, walking in front of me selling solutions and I uh, you know, walked behind him kind of implementing. In 2004, we managed to get the company registered, and then in 2005, we actually started as an ISP, um, initially providing services in Luanda, but then also later on traveling elsewhere in the country, for example, uh, Luena. Mm -hmm. um, and back in those days, there were no commercial flights, so we had to take uh, military flights, Antonovs, and... Um, the, they don't have any um, seats in the plane and it's not climate controlled. So as the plane goes higher and higher, it gets colder and colder. And then when the, uh, when the Russians uh, land the plane, when they op open the cockpit, then you smell uh, the smell of vodka and cigarettes. <laughs> um, but at least you've landed. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Ralph, give us a, a brief insight into your early years with Paratus as one of the co-founders. Well, we... Um, we had a lot of energy um, and a lot of ideas uh, in those days. We we set up the company quite quickly uh, based on uh, you know Unix uh, systems, FreeBSD, Linux, and uh, Cisco. And um, then we did the the first wireless network in in Luanda in August two thousand and five. Sorry, the first WiMAX network. Um, we then did the first MPLS network in Namibia for a major financial institution in 2005 and a number of other firsts um yeah so what would you say drives you to keep pushing the african boundaries of the company well there's a lot there's a massive um need um and requirement for uh, proper infrastructure on the continent so um we we see this in in namibia and angola zambia and elsewhere a lot of the infrastructure is um is ailing and um, you know actually needs to be repaired or, or replaced, and then also uh, you know you've got new newer technologies such as fiber which replaces copper, and such as 4G and LTE that replaces older wireless systems and so forth. So there's a, a massive demand for data, and for quality infrastructure um, both for for consumers as well for as well as for businesses. The other thing that we uh, have invested quite heavily in uh, recently is data centers. We, we're busy now with the fourth data center that we're building in, in Vintuk. And we're going to complete our Lusaka data center um, in July, this, um, this coming July. And then uh, the first two were in Luanda. And we're also looking at opportunities in the data center space elsewhere on the continent. Mm -hmm. So, Ralph, how do you stay ahead of the competition? Well, I <laughs> try, and, uh, try and read... Uh, Read a lot, and um, you know, get um, learn things from my colleagues and from suppliers and so forth. And I think you know, if you have to look at uh, competing with a competition, probably the easiest thing to do is just work a little bit harder. So you know, mm -hmm. you work ten percent, fifteen percent harder. All other things being equal, you're going to be more successful than than the person uh, sitting next to you. Mm -hmm. Now, with that said, what is your biggest goal for Paratus at the moment? Well, I would like us to to expand our footprint into some new markets. So um, we're looking at, at opportunities in West Africa um, and elsewhere. I mean, at the moment, we're in six countries on the continent, Angola, Botswana, uh, Namibia, South Africa, Mozambique, and Zambia. Mm -hmm. And um, we'd like to be in at least 10 
mm-hmm. in the next couple of years. So you speak Portuguese fluently as well. So maybe this next question you can answer in Portuguese and maybe then give us a translation as well. What is your belief of the future of Paratas? Um, eu acredito que nós temos um, a energia e a paixão um, para ser uh, bem sucedido uh, no nosso no continente e para um, ser a rede um, de qualidade da África. Which means? <laughs> I believe that we've got the, the passion and the drive um, to be successful a- across the continent and to be Africa's quality network. Interesting. Thank you so much for taking the time to join us, Rolf. Ah, it's a pleasure. Thank you very much for having me here today. And that was Rolf Mendelssohn, our Paratus Game Changer. Thank you for joining me and Rolf Mendelssohn. Stay tuned for our next Game Changer. August Hangara.